Artificial intelligence is coming for our jobs. Many will lose their jobs, and not just blue-collar jobs. Experts say banking, legal services, insurance, and accounting are just four of the professions that will lose many jobs. Is your job at risk? Watch the job quiz to find out. The job quiz divides jobs into four types depending upon type of work done and how easy it would be for a machine to do that work. Let's say you do a lot of routine, when this happens, do that. If your job involves lots of doing the same types of things in the same way, there's a very high risk of you being replaced by a machine. Why? The work is passive. There's no thinking required. It's work easily done by a machine. Okay, say your job involves a lot of, when this happens, do one of these things. If your job involves lots of choosing between pre-selected options, there's a medium high risk of you being replaced by a machine. Why? Because the work is semi-passive. There's almost no thinking required. It's work easily done by a machine. This time, let's say your work involves deciding, how do I make this happen? If your work is deciding how to accomplish something, there's a low risk of it being replaced by a machine. The work is active. Thinking is required. This is work not easily done by a machine. Finally, let's say your work involves lots of judgments about what you or your company should do. If your work is judging what should or shouldn't happen, there's really no risk of you being replaced by a machine. Why? Because the work is active. Maximum thinking is required. This is work that cannot be done by a machine. If your job is at risk, there is good news. As old, passive, no thinking required jobs disappear, good new well-paying jobs will appear. These new jobs will all have three things in common. You'll need thinking skills, critical thinking, creative thinking, thinking outside the box. You'll need active learning skills, the ability to learn new skills quickly and on your own, to be able to teach yourself. And you'll need to be able to communicate clearly, effectively, and efficiently. Well, where do you start getting these three skill sets? Well, you start by learning how to think logically. If you can't think logically, you won't get critical thinking, active learning, and you won't communicate effectively or efficiently. No one skill will help you more in life, school or work, than learning how to think logically. And actually, there's even more good news. Some key life skills like problem solving, planning, decision making, as well as success in Western schools, all depend upon thinking logically. It's the skill that does so much. I invite you to come and take a look at the Why Thinking Matters course on the East Meets West Academy website or Facebook page. You'll find other videos to watch as well as a complete lesson including exercises for you to view. In this life, we don't often get one chance to do something that will give us huge lifelong benefits. Learning to think logically is one of those things. It changed my life. Come on inside. Let it change your life.